Hi, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today, I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS on the new Rising Storm 2 game. Uh, you have two ways to improve your FPS in this game. You can't uh, change your in game setting or use the config file. We will start with the in game setting. Uh, it's pretty easy if you want more FPS in this game. You, you have to change shadow quality, particle FX, lighting quality, and foliage detail. All those four options will give you 6 to 8 FPS if you go to ultra to low. Okay, so for each bracket, you will gain 2 to 3 FPS. Really important for me, shadow quality particle FX is not very important because uh, it doesn't like degrade too much your uh, image quality. And uh, lighting quality and foliage detail, maybe sh you should try medium just to, to see how many FPS you have. And yeah, for sure you can go lower. Make sure that you uncheck the frame rate smoothing because this one uh, is locking your FPS to 62, okay? Uh, so you will see if you have more than 60 and for sure if you have like a 144 Hz screen, uh, you absolutely need to do that. Also, two other things that you need to consider. World detail is very important because the world is really, it's huge in this game. So um, it takes a lot of resources. Depending of if you have a low-end or medium computer, go to medium or low, okay? And for uh, the last one, anti-aliasing, this one, go to medium. Honestly, eye to medium, you will not see a big difference and you will gain 3 to 4 FPS. Uh, uh, if you go to FX AA low, you will see like a big decrease. And for sure, if you remove your anti-aliasing, uh, your image quality will not be nice. Post-process effect quality, I saw 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket, so just stay at medium. Uh, again, depending on your computer, I can run this game almost everything at Ultra. I have an RX 480 with an i7-4790K, so pretty decent computer and uh, I overclocked it. So uh, yeah, that's about it for the in-game uh, in setting. For texture detail, last thing uh, is um, depending on your RAM on your video card. So if you have a card with just 1 or 2 gig, go low, lowest, low or even medium if you have 2 gig. If you are more than that, you, you can do high or ultra. You will not see a big decrease on your uh, FPS, uh, even if your card is a low end, but you have a lot of jig, so it doesn't change anything, okay? So that's about it for this. We will back. Now, config file. Go to your documents, my game. Oh, the game will reset when you, <laughs> when you change setting, it's resetting. Anyway, okay, close it. So go back to your my game, Rising Storm, IRO game, config, and open the IRO engine, okay? Go almost to the three quarter of your, um, your file. Do, do, do. You want to see system setting over there. If you scroll a little bit, this is all the setting that you change inside of the game. So resolution, uh, graphic quality, blah, blah, blah. Everything is there. Okay. If you want to do more, you can scroll up and, um, yeah, first of all, all those dynamic effects. So dynamic, uh, decals, dynamic slides, dynamic shadow, make sure it's all at false. Okay. You will gain a lot of FPS with this because, uh, for example, dynamic light, you just like run over a tree, the light will be dynamic and it takes a lot of resources. So make sure that it's at false. Light environment, shadows, false too. Dynamic light composite over there, false too. So I'll, if you can, like, if you want to be efficient here, you can just search for shadows and look at uh, what they're showing you and change whatever you need to have your 60 FPS, okay? Um, a couple of stuff that you can change. Just a sec. Wanna go back? Blah, blah, blah. Perfect. So you can change the radius of the shadow too. So if you want like to reduce the radius, uh, it can help. So you have a lot of setting over there that you don't have in the in-game setting. So you can just change and test. And also make sure that you do it, you're making a, a backup of this file, okay? Because if you screw up something, you <laughs> you kind of need a backup and also when you finish just save it okay and when you save it here make sure that the file is now with read only because if you change an in-game setting of uh, inside of the game it will override your config file so that's about it for rising storm 2 if you have any question just comment in the youtube section uh, post me your rig so cpu gpu ram and ask me whatever uh, question that uh, you want to ask so that's it guys Peace.